Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. Hi, how are you doing? You look great. Um, I apologize for the absence. Clearly there's been a lot of things going on in the world right now. Anyway, I'm so sorry that I've been gone, but I've kind of just been like not thinking about LARP for a while to kind of like get me through things. But yes, I am doing a lot better. I'm doing really well right now. And so I'm ready to take this time to start working on a bunch of kit improvements and building new kits that I do not need. And I have no idea what game that I'm taking to, but that, that will not stop me. So today we're doing an unboxing because I just ordered my first piece of armor ever. I'm so excited. Um, the only armor that I've ever owned before were like some bracers and a shoulder pad that I made out of faux leather and hot glue so so needless to say i'm very excited today so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of jump in to this uh, i haven't received everything just yet but i just can't let this sit here and just stare at me for however long until the other one arrives so we're just gonna go ahead and open this today because i am very very excited so there we go Start. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting when you open a fresh new box and there are crisp new items in it. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Do I start with the most exciting or do I build up to it? I don't know what's gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Why did I forget about this? Oh my gosh. So I got, um, I couldn't decide on like what kind of game sin I wanted or if I wanted like a full game sin or like full sleeves or half or. What, I'm still working on the complete look of my kit and everything, so I don't know how much, because I don't even know how much armor I want just yet, so I just got like a little Gambeson mantle, which is this bad boy right here. So here we are. Wow. Stunning. Amazing. This is the Leopold Padded Collar Black Cotton. There you go. <laughs> it feels really nice. Let me just put it on, because why not, you know? Oh, I do not want to unlace it, I'm afraid. Let me just try to shove my head through and see if we can... I feel like a football player and I've never felt more alive. Amazing. <laughs> Honestly, kind of killing it. I think it definitely needs to be broken in a little bit because it just feels very like stiff right now. But, hi, how are you? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing, okay. So let's uh, put some armor on top of this, don't you think? Uh, yes. <gasps> Excuse me. Yuck, that is really greasy. Let me go grab a towel first. Okay, we have fetched a towel. Also, upon looking at myself in the mirror, I think this is actually a little too big for me because I don't know if you can see like the neck opening comes all the way. This is really hard to show in a chair. I'll show you later, but. I think like the neck hole is like very large. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna like try to s alter it a little bit or shrink it in the wash, maybe. We'll see. I forget that armor is made for masculine bodies sometimes. So we'll see how this works out. Okay, let's get our grease ball back. Hi, how you doing? How was your trip? Can you see that? Like it's like visibly <laughs> greased. Also, if anybody has any tips out there for maintaining armor, I would really appreciate it because this is my first piece of armor. Uh, I watched a lot of videos when it comes to like, you know, aftercare, like after you wear it, how to clean it and oil it up. Um, but like for storage, is it supposed to be this greasy when I pack it away? Let me know. I, did, I expected grease, I did not expect it to feel like a piece of bacon. It smells like sports. I'm thinking that's good enough. What do you think? Think it's good enough? That's what I was thinking. Also, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be really easy to put on by myself because it buckles in the front like this. Maybe I should not be wearing a really light shirt for this, but that will not stop me. Okay, okay. I'm too excited to care about my shirt right now, okay? Ouch. <laughs> Maybe also tying the hair up it would be a good option right now, but 
I don't think about things, I just do them. All right, I honestly feel like this makes the mantle seem a lot less big for me because I can tell now it's like oversized to keep it off my neck, you know, ish, is that correct? I don't know, but I feel like this looks so good. Like I was a little worried because I know like, again, armor is made for like broad shouldered, like big manly men, which I am not. So I was a little worried that like my pieces were gonna like eat me up. But this definitely doesn't like this i feel like it's like a really good size for me like it almost looks made for me really so that's pretty good i was a little worried i didn't know if i was gonna like this situation like the fact that it buckles in the front like i was afraid that it was gonna like take away a little bit but honestly i really like how it looks a lot okay there's two more little things in here which are the same thing and they're probably gonna be very greased but Ooh, it's time to be free. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically I got two little like thigh, thigh pieces. I think they're, I think they're called tassets. Don't quote me, I think they're tassets. And you kind of like hang them on your belt and then they protect your thunder thighs. Look at that, look at that, look at it. Let me free your brother, and then um, I can attach you to my body in one second. Hello. So also, uh, just to clarify, this uh, set is called the, it's the Markward line from Mythalon. So it is kind of like a really cheap line of armor. So I'd love to do, um, to stay tuned. I will do some pictures with like everything actually on and like with proper LARP garb. And um, yeah, I think I would also like to order a couple more pieces from it to like complete the set. And then I will do like a full review on the armor set because I feel like for some reason, there's really not enough reference material when you're buying armor. I had to go through and I looked up a bunch of pictures of Lady Knights, um, like on Instagram, and I would like zoom in to try to be able to tell like, okay, she's her spalders are from the Markward line. Okay, okay. Um, But her, her gorget is uh, the Balthazar. Okay, okay. And then like, just like every little piece of armor, like breaking it down and seeing like which pieces, like that's what I had to do to get reference pictures of this armor. So, <laughs> so I will be uh, providing some reference material for you guys if you're looking to get this armor and then hopefully any armor that I ever get in the future, I will do the same. Make sure that you guys actually have reference materials before you buy stuff. I'm very excited. So I'm very excited uh, for now. I think I'm just gonna like run around uh, in this for now, put these on, you know, run around the house, uh, scare my parents. And then I'm just gonna fast forward to when I actually get the spalters to attach here. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back, even though this is the same video, um, but it's, it's actually the same day. It's just been a couple more hours. Like the sun is like starting to set and Yes, the Spalders have arrived, so um, let's not wait any longer. Honestly, I thought the mailman was my mom pulling in, so I quickly threw this on to like go show her, and it was the mailman, so. Also, I threw my mantle in a very hot wash, and then a very hot dry, and it really didn't shrink like at all. So, <laughs> a little concerned, I think I'm probably just gonna like sew sew in the back, like pinch it in and like sew it up a little bit just to kind of like take it down a size. We'll see because I think it's definitely too big to be comfy. But for now, it will do, it will do. The best gift of all. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's so much bigger than I expected and I'm so here for it. Oh my goodness. That's bigger than my face. Oh boy. Uh, I've got little noodle arms. We'll see how this goes. But first, I must cleanse them of their sins. So, one second. Should I have uh, opened a very greasy, nasty object on my bed? Probably not. Will that stop me? Probably not. Oh my, look at her. <gasps> Excuse me. Excuse me. How do I attach these? Because they... Most things I've seen, one will have a loop and then one will have a strap to hook onto the loop. 
but these both have straps. Hmm. It's almost like I make a loop with that and then. Hmm. Hmm. This is still the Mark Word smolder by Mythalon. In case you wanted. In case you guys couldn't tell on the other piece of armor, I just want to make sure you can see the juicy, yummy, disgustingness. Let us cleanse him. Okay, see this. I'm really happy I went with these now because I was between. I really like the, the look of like really large spalders. I think that looks amazing. But again, I didn't want to look like my armor was like swallowing me whole. So I was like, okay, let me start with like just a little version of the shoulders. Cause most lines, I feel like they have like the small and then like the large that like, you know, kind of comes up and it's like more like a, I've been told it's more like a pauldron and then these are spalders. So the pauldron like covers your whole shoulder. I was really heavily considering those, but now I'm glad I did because these are kind of massive. So definitely if you're between the two, I say start small and see because they're bigger than you think. You know what? I'm just going to fast forward through this cleaning and then like attach them real quick. So I'll be right back. Come here often. I hope not. This is my bedroom. Okay. Um. Wow. I'm so happy. I finally found how to attach them. Basically, there's an extra strap inside that you don't use, and that's supposed to be like when you get like, or if you get like the rest of the arm piece, you can attach it that way. I think. Is this a loop? Oh gosh. Okay, well. Ah ha ha. It's just the loop. And then you just use the strap that's on the gorget. Here we are. I am so happy with how it looks. I love it so much. I was so nervous for the longest time because I I was looking at a lot of pictures of like different lady knights and like ladies in LARP wearing armor. And it's really hard to like walk that fine line between like I wanted something that's gonna like bulk me up a little bit and like make me actually look like tough but I also don't want anything that's like too big that looks like it's swallowing me whole and I feel like this is the perfect balance oh my gosh like I look tough I look spooky but it looks like it fits me like it looks like my armor it doesn't look like I'm borrowing or stole somebody else's armor, you know what I mean? Looks like this is my armor. Because it is. And obviously this is not an actual kit. This is quite literally uh, what I was lounging about in when the, the mailman came. <laughs> and then I just threw on like my NPC shirt just so that I had something to cover my arms and not get all like greasy from the stuff. So yeah, I actually really love these guys a lot. I need a better belt for them because this is like a real person belt. This is not a LARP belt, but it works, okay. <laughs> but I'm really excited and I don't know yet um, what game this character is going to. I'm trying to decide. I was literally, for a minute I was like, let me just take it to like every game I currently go to <clears throat> and see where I like it best and then um, go from there. <laughs> but I also don't know yet um, what type of character I want to build with this kit. I kind of had two different ideas. So my first one was that, you know, knights are kind of like ye olden jocks, really, you know? So I was like, okay, like maybe like typical, like high school boy, like quarterback kind of thing, you know? Or I was also like, you know, I could probably take like a more like himbo kind of, Kind of thing which if you don't know what that means um let me simplify um i can basically simplify the options into like just two words um basically in between making my character gaston or cronk so let me know down below what, what i should do with this character what does this look like to you granted i don't have any actual kit on yet so Yes. I also can't decide if I want to get a breastplate or not because I kind of like the look of just like, 
like pauldrons and a gorget and then like a gambeson or a tabard. I really like that look. I feel like it's kind of like night off duty, but still danger could strike at any moment kind of vibe. And I'm here for it. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I also was slightly considering chain mail, but I don't know yet. Anyway, point is, wow, armor. So there you go. I'm so excited to be like, I love loud LARP kits. Okay, that's the just, oh, that's the best thing. Okay, and now I'm gonna be running into fight like, oh, by the way, nothing in this video, of course, was like sponsored or endorsed or affiliated in any way, shape or form. So these are all my own opinions and my first time getting armor. So my opinions m might not be the, the best. But for a first timer, I'd say these are pretty good. These are pretty good. Also completely forgot to mention that this armor set is very affordable. I don't know why I, in my mind, thought armor had to cost like hundreds of dollars, but it does not. This guy right here, $26. Okay, these guys, I wanna say 40. And these guys were 12 a piece. So if you are currently deciding whether or not to get yourself a piece of armor, this is a sign from the universe saying, do it. So I don't make the rules. I just deliver the rules. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I am sorry again for the absence. I know it's been a while, but I should be back to normal now. I have a lot of things planned out that hopefully work out and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please let me know what you think i should do with this character like what kit should this should go towards it really helps me out and yeah hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and yeah